Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another morning's devotion. I am Ms. T. Lewis, and I am elated to have you join me. But first, let us bow our heads, close our eyes, and open our hearts. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you for this day, for this day. Lord, please hear us. Lord, please hear us when we pray, when we pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for a brand new day. Lord, thank you for loving and caring for us. Please help us to be obedient that we may be more like you. Bless our Bahama land in Jesus' name. Amen. Boys and girls, I don't know about you, but I want to be like Noah. I want to be obedient so that God can protect me when the storms of life come. Isn't it great to say that we serve a loving God? Even after being disobedient, God still shows his love and forgiveness toward us. Stand out. Let your light shine. Sing along with me, this little light of mine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. This the light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This the light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This the light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Jesus is the light, I'm gonna let him shine. Jesus is the light, I'm gonna let him shine. Jesus is the light. Today's Bible verse is found in John chapter 14, verse 23. It reads, Jesus replied, Anyone who loves me will obey my teaching. Joshua and the Battle of Jericho Living in the city of Jericho was a lady called Rahab, who had sheltered two spies Joshua had sent to the city. They asked her to put a red cord on her window so that when the city was attacked, she would be saved. Joshua was wondering how God would help him capture the great walled city of Jericho. He saw a man with a sword nearby. Are you a friend or an enemy? Joshua asked. I am God's messenger, said the angel, and the commander of God's army. Joshua fell to his knees and said, Tell me what God wants me to do. Joshua went and told his soldiers, God will give us a walled city of Jericho, but we must do what God said. And if you find a red cord in the window, save Rahab. Inside the walled city of Jericho, Rahab watched and waited. Joshua had promised to save her and her family when the city was destroyed. She saw the people of Israel walk right around the outside of the wall once every day for six days. Then on the seventh day, they walked right around the wall seven times that day, with the priests blowing trumpets. And the very last time, when they all shouted, the great stone wall of Jericho fell right down. The city was theirs, not by a strong army fighting, but by God's power. Rahab, however, was kept safe and rescued. The story of Joshua teaches us to be willing to God's command, to be obedient because God will help us fight all of our battles. Question of the day. What is the name of the wall in this story? A. The wall of Jericho or B. The wall of Jerusalem? Yes, A. The wall of Jericho. See you soon and remember to be obedient.